Despite being an award-winning actress, a high-end model, and one of the world's most desirable women, this Hollywood superstar has always been a very down-to-earth lady. I truly believe in hard work and not that much in luck. But I can't say that because a lot of luck was involved with mm -hmm. me being discovered the, the, and for me being here right now today. Could have taken a lot longer. Born in Benoni, South Africa on the 7th of August 1975, Charlize Theron's life story pretty much reads like a movie script. She grew up on her parents' farm, where along with her mum, she suffered at the hands of her abusive dad. One night, things got out of hand and her father was killed by her mother in self-defence. At age 16, Charlize and her mother moved to Italy after the teen won a modelling contract in a local contest. She spent a year posing throughout Europe before moving to America. Although she initially went to New York for a modelling job, Charlize ended up training as a ballet dancer at the Joffrey Ballet School. The blonde beauty had always seen herself as a ballerina and gave everything for a career on stage. However, her dream was crushed when she was forced to quit due to a knee injury. After that, she moved once more, this time to LA, in the hope of becoming an actress. I was extremely naive when I booked into that little hotel in Hollywood, not knowing anybody. I didn't understand the odds against me. Truly. I mean, you, you know that everybody goes to Hollywood to be an actress, but you don't understand that every waitress that serves you, and every single person in Los Angeles wants to either be an actor or a rock star. After famously getting her start in the acting business when a talent agent saw her arguing with a teller in a bank, Theron was soon at the top of her game, starring next to people like Al Pacino, Tobey Maguire and Will Smith. Now one of the biggest names in the industry, Charlize has played in everything from indie dramas to wacky comedies to action blockbusters. She even earned an Academy Award for her performance in the 2003 movie Monster. That same year, Theron was also named the number one most desirable woman by Ask Men. Her good looks landed her a deal with French fashion house Dior as well, and she became the face of the brand's iconic fragrance, J'adore. On top of that, the gorgeous blonde has also charmed some of Hollywood's hottest hunks. From 2001 to 2010, Charlize was in a relationship with actor Stuart Townsend. Then, after some rumoured short flings, it was revealed that the actress had started dating Hollywood veteran Sean Penn in early 2014. Things quickly got serious, and there were even speculations about an engagement, However, their romance wasn't meant to last, and the couple separated in June 2015. These days, Charlize gives all her love to her two adopted children, Jackson and August. But as if she hasn't proven how big her heart is already, the actress also serves as a UN messenger of peace and founded her own organization to help fight HIV and AIDS in her homeland. One of the key points of her charity is not only treating the symptoms, but working to cure the cause, something that she feels isn't thought about enough. We have spent so much time in the immediate need business and so little time in the prevention business. And so the, the birth of my organization really came from that understanding. We can take care of people getting HIV positive for the rest of our lives and the rest of our children's lives, but the, the reality is that if we actually invested enough money and time and effort in prevention, we can actually end this in, 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 in our lifetime. Here's hoping for the best for Charlize and her charity. In the meantime, the blonde beauty can look back on an amazing career thus far and be more than excited about the present, although you shouldn't ask her about the future. I don't even know what I'm having for dinner tonight, so I can't even imagine 20 years from now. I like the mystery of life. I like the mystery of the adventure that, that we're on, you know? I would hate to kind of plan it out because, again, I think you would just dis be disappointed if you plan it out and it didn't turn out. You know, it's, I'm in a, an incredible place, I'm very blessed to be here. I'm enjoying every moment of it. The day I don't enjoy it anymore is the day that I would quit. So I can't even imagine 20 years from now.